Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at animation effect options. So on the screen, I've got one slide with some bullet information and some indented bullet information, and I'm going to apply an animation effect. So up to the top, animations. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to go through this option and I'm going to activate the animation pane. So you can see what I'm going to do there. Add animation. All of these are available, but this is what I want. An entrance effect. In there, dissolve in. So that's how I want to add the effect. And you get it coming in 112233. So basically, if I put that into full screen, what that means is, as I press enter, both Wellington and Guard come in together and everything comes in as a pair and i don't want that to be the case just put an s on that so what i want to happen is for each of these to come in individually so wellington first followed by guards then picton now there's two ways of doing this at the top you've got effect options as one object all at once by paragraph so it's already on by paragraph so this is a limited set of options a more detailed set of options is available through this feature here on the right. You can either do it individually by clicking on each item or as a group, which is where it's on at the moment. Then if I drop this list down, you get some options already showing there, but I like to go into effects, effect options because it shows you them all. So you've got everything here that you need now. So we've got no sound. So basically this would be a sound every time one of these came on the screen. So that would be really irritating. So let's not do that. Don't dim after animation. Well, let's get it to change color. So if we get it to change color to blue, so it's going to fade blue after it's lost focus. And you've got this option all at once. We'll leave it on that. So it comes in as a complete sentence. Timings. I'll come back to timings, but let's go to text animation because that's the, the bit that I want to do first of all. If I drop this list down, you get all these different paragraph levels and we've only got one, two levels. So for this example, I could select that one by second level paragraph, but I usually advise people to go for this option, which means it will cover you if you decide to add another indent on guards. You don't have to come back into this and fix it later on now if i click ok to that for now you get a little preview and you can see it fading out and if i put that into full screen when i press enter wellington fades out goes blue all the color you select guards has now got focus picton so on and so on now the last one's going to fade blue and then nothing else comes up that's a good little tip for you if you're not quite sure on the content of your slide. If it goes blue and nothing else comes up, the next click will be a new slide. So I quite often do that to make sure I know when um, a new slide's about to appear. I don't start talking about the new slide and then another bullet appears. So that's how you can set the animation to come in individually. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Each item's coming in separately. Now, the other features that you've got in there, if we look at effect options on timing, you've got it on click at the moment, but I could say with previous or after previous. So let's see what happens if I say with previous. OK. So that sort of overrides what you just did. So I don't want that. So I'll go back into there. Effect options. Timings on click I want. The way you got this option here, you've got delay and let's put a one second delay on that. In fact, let's do a two second delay on that and click OK. So I'll put this into full screen. I'll press enter one, two. I'll press enter one, two. There you go. I'll just press escape to come out of that. So I don't want that delay on there. So back into effect options. 
go back to time is put that back to zero no delay so you can repeat also what let's have a go at repeat let's uh put a repeat of two okay so you can see it flashing in there if i put it into full screen press enter flash twice press enter flash twice okay so the um, repeat is usually for things images i find it's useful for images when you've you've got an arrow on the screen that you want to flash and repeat um you can have it pulsing uh, i'll just take that off this list back into effect options take that off don't want to repeat none okay so there's back to what it was now if i just insert um a shape so i can just show you what i was talking about there um i don't want, I want an arrow that'll do so now if i add an effect for this if i go to animations and add animation and say pulse so now we've got this option if i drop that down go into effect options timings so it's on click and i want this to repeat 10 times okay let's see what happens here so it's pulsing 10 times if i go to full screen that's not got any effect on it so it's there already but when i get to the end that's going to pulse 10 times so you can have that point into an excel spreadsheet or a table or even just a graph whatever you want and you're using the effect options to make it a bit more obvious what you're trying to do now when you're going to add animation you've got down the bottom here so these are that's where i got pulse from where it's got emphasis and then further down you've got exit and then further down you've got motion paths and then this custom path which you can use to um, have things move around the screen so if i just put a and double click there i'll get that arrow to move so now you've got the arrow to move and you've got the options on this arrow effect options and you can see you've got a slightly different list of effects so you've got smooth end and you can just move this up and down path is unlocked you can lock the path and text animation there's no text really but there you go slightly different list i'll just cancel that off let's put that into full screen for you click through these so i clicked it before it pulsed 10 times but then it did the move now if i get myself another slide and insert a a little chart on there for a second a little column chart and i'll leave the well just type some things in there so we have men women children and then we'll have 2018 2019 2020 2021 that'll do leave the figures as they are close that and then you see the data there so what happens when you animate this so let's do add animation we'll get the whole chart to dissolve in okay and then we do the same but this time you get some different options similar to when we did the um, path custom path so again you got sound i don't want it to dim but you've got this extra tab before it said text animation now it says chart animation and then you can do this element series and category okay and they're coming in so you can compare that and if i put that into full screen so on my mouse click there's the graph talk about that compare it to that compare it to that compare it to that and then the next slot comes in and the last slot 
like so. Press escape. So that's how you can do animation on a chart. Now on a, a diagram, like a smart art diagram, if I just pick one of these, I'll just pick hierarchy. And then I'll just put MD. I don't want that one. Get rid of that. Call that sales training retail and then I want to add animation on that one so animations add animation dissolve in again it's up to you which one you use obviously and then you get the same sort of feature effect options so now it says not chart smart art animation and then you get the op options there level one by one I'll do that one okay and then they come in like so so in full screen if i go into full screen click away you talk about the md click talk about sales click training click retail so very easy to set up and very impacting visually so that is animation effect options that's all i want to talk about in this little session so hopefully you've enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next one